is an RTX 3080, a very nice, beautiful GPU. It smells like it too. I, I don't know why I sniffed it, it smells disgusting. But either way, it's an RTX 3080, and you know what it's good for, it's good for gaming. So today, we're gonna be building a gaming PC. Two builds in two weeks, what? I mean, I already told you guys that we're gonna be hyper-focused on PC building on this channel, and like, we'll talk about everything else on different channels, so that there's like, a focus in content. But let's talk about the parts here, because I know that is what you want to know about. Now, starting with the CPU, and that is the Intel i5-11600KX. Everyone on Discord asked me to build with the 5600X instead, but uh, you're mistaking this for a democracy. No, it's a dictatorship. I'm afraid you're mistaking this for a democracy and it isn't one, it's a dictatorship. So this is the i5-11600KF and you might be like, why am I building 11th gen PC today with 40 nanometer plus plus as well? Refresh, 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 refresh architecture. I think there's actually two more refreshes I missed out. But the reason for that is actually really simple. Well, the 11600KF is a, a CPU that we're using because we are going to be benchmarking it. Against what? I can't say. But the smart people can figure it out. It is six cores, 12 threads, which is going to be plenty for gaming for a long time, even with the PS5 having so many cores. Games are still going to be heavily GPU bound and not CPU core count bound. So six cores, 12 threads. And while it is 14 nanometer plus, 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 that's seven pluses, it is still going to be a pretty good gaming CPU, especially if you can get it at a good price, which is probably going to be the case once 12th gen comes out. So that's that. If you're on a tighter budget, you can check out the 11400F. It's also pretty good value as well. And if you want an AMD CPU or you want even more performance than this, or you want the upgrade path of being able to upgrade like to a 5800X, or you need more PCIe Gen 4 slots, things that AMD can provide that Intel can't provide with this generation, then you can get the 5600X as well. But let's proceed. I'm using the CPU specifically for benchmarking reasons and I will stick with them. The motherboard we're using is a B560M DS3H V2. It's pretty decent. The VRMs are fine. It's got enough USB ports to go around. Not enough for my taste, but it's fine. I mean, it, it's good enough for what we're doing. Now, you might be like, why you go with a K CPU and then not have a Z series motherboard to do overclocking? Well, the simple answer is this is what I can get my hands on. So there's that. Let's talk about a memory or dedicated WAM. Dedicated WAM. As the Minecraft kids like to call it. And these are a Zadek, Zadak, Zadak, Zodak. I don't know how to pronounce this. This is a Zadek, Zadek, Zadek Tech. NANI? Hold on a minute. I found my RAM soulmate. <laughs> but seriously, this is a 16 gig kit, 3600 MHz CL17 with very terrible RAM timings. It's not the best kit of RAM, but it's gonna do just fine when you're doing a PC build. It's, it's not a big deal. It's got RGB on it, it looks good. For 80% of people building a gaming PC to this day, 16 gigs is gonna be the sweet spot, even if you're streaming. Let's talk about storage, which is memory without the Alzheimer's or dementia. And with, of course, we're talking about SSDs, or should I say SSDs nuts? But basically, SSDs are the way they go, and specifically NVMe SSDs. SATA drives are just so 2015, 2013. NVMe SSD slides into your motherboard, screws down, no cables, no hassle, lovely. This is a WD Black SN750. It's my own personal SSD that I'm planning to put in my own personal gaming rig to store uh, a bunch of different games. It's not enough to store Call of Duty, however, but it's, it's going to be enough for Valorant and whatever games I want to play. So it's nice and pretty darn fast. So no big deal here. Very, very good. It's going to host all our games and benchmarks software just fine. For power supply, we're going with this. This is the EVGA 850 or 850 It's the supernova. Nice. And it is pretty quiet and pretty effective as well and should be more than enough for any sort of future hardware upgrades and also to power this big chunky monster thing which is the RTX 3080. Now the RTX 3080 is a brilliant gaming GPU. It's a powerful beast and really gets you a lot of FPS. It's got DLSS, which is a big reason to go with Nvidia at all, and it's going to be lovely for gaming. With this, you're definitely gonna be not bottlenecked by your GPU. And I think an i5 plus a 3080 is actually a very good balance for a gaming PC, where the focus is gaming. Unfortunately, GPUs still haven't gotten to a point where we can do 4K gaming on the latest titles, ultra mixed out, but it's it's always the case because software is always a bit further ahead of hardware so that race between games, graphics fidelity and how demanding they are and actual hardware performance, softwares and games will always be ahead because it's always faster to develop software and improve on it than hardware, which takes time in the fabrication plants and things like that. Hey, is that about ready? These things, they take time. 
RTX 3080, a very powerful GPU. I don't really need to explain it, but it is quite a hot device that needs plenty of cooling and stuff like that. If you're someone who is going Team AMD, going with the RX 6900 XT or the 6800 XT is actually not a bad idea. Those don't really have as much demand as far as I have heard as compared to the RTX 3080. So you'd probably be able to get those GPUs more easily but it's highly likely that those GPUs are sold out as well, so good luck finding those. But either way, it's a good gaming GPU and I'm glad to have it today and we're just gonna game on it because we can. As for the PC case, which is off the floor, off the grid, the 500DX PC case from Be Quiet. I reviewed this a couple of months ago, I think, and it's been sitting there doing nothing, but it's finally met its calling, which is to be my benchmarking case. Now, the main reason I chose this case is because it's got high airflow, which means that the thermal testing of whatever I'm testing won't be bottlenecked by this case's airflow. It looks good, it's quite quiet, it's very easy to build in, and I really do like the case. It's good build quality, good IO all around. It's a very, very enjoyable case to build in, and I think a lot of people like this case and probably want this case as well. So the 500DX is what we are using for this build. As for CPU cooling, because the 11600KF is inevitably quite a hot CPU, 40 nanometer plus, 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 plus. I don't know if that's seven pluses, is it? But it's a pretty hot CPU, so we're going to need some uh, pretty decent cooling. And that's where the Arctic Cooling Freezer 240 Mark II comes in. It's a 240 millimeter all-in-one water cooler. It has pretty decent reviews out there. It has a little fan to cool your motherboard VRMs as well, which is one of the problems with AIO. It doesn't have a fan and airflow to cool your VRMs. And it is a pretty good CPU water cooler. What's important for me with this CPU cooler is that it comes with complete mounting hardware, which is something that a lot of the water coolers I have don't because they were bought secondhand. So all the mounting hardware is like jumbled, mess, and loss. This is a brand new kit, so I can actually mount it on both AMD and Intel. So let's get building then! Young XTech said with so much optimism, so much energy, so much joy and excitement for the future. Little did he know this PC build will ruin his mental state and within hours, his brains and mind will be slit, splintered, dusted and all over the floor. First was the installation of the CPU and the RAM. Honestly, this was the last good thing Zagax Tech will ever experience in his life. It was smooth sailing and it was easy. He even shot a guide for it. But you don't need that guide, you watch Linus Tech Tips too. They do it way better than I will ever do. After that, it was the installation of the SSD. And this was truly the last positive to ever happen in this PC build. Slide it in, screw it down, and say goodbye to your sanity. Because what happens next will shock you. No, it, it won't. It, it made me really annoyed though. Among the rush and hustle and bustle of building a PC with cameras and time constraint, Zagax Tech's poor measly XS10 using aftermarket batteries because he could never afford first party batteries. Like seriously, they're like 80 Singapore dollars. It's crazy. They last like 30, 40 minutes and they charge 80 Singapore dollars for those batteries. It's a joke. Oh my God. Back to the story. But the XS10 will not last for under the pressures of heat, for under the pressures of constant recording, it will falter and splutter to a halt. Mostly because the aftermarket batteries were used. Now, if he was well off enough to use first party batteries, Fujifilm branded battery, the camera will auto save the footage, right? And everything will be fine. Unfortunately, this is Zahex Tech, the biggest cheapskate on YouTube. And these third party batteries, well, when they run out, the camera doesn't know what to do. And everything you recorded up to that point is lost forever. Unless you hit save before it runs out of battery, obviously. But because you never knew when that battery would run out, you will always, always be screwed over. It's just a matter of when. Management. Zagax Tech was ready to proceed with the next step. Alas, he looks up and he sees his camera is dead. He knows what this means because he knows the battery used in this particular shot was a third party battery. All 30 minutes of effort of work. Gone. More work in Premiere Pro. More work in B-Roll. More work in voiceover. Pain. Frustration. It all kicks in. He crumbles to the floor after screaming expletives and ranting. This isn't all real by the way. I'm just narrating it to make it a meme and like actual content. He crumbles and he ponders the meaning and purpose of it all. We're all going to eventually die and disappear in the heat death of this universe. He says to himself as he tears up and thinks about how little views this video will get inevitably. All these hours of your precious life, all these efforts, just to get a couple of hundred views on YouTube, less than 0.5% of 
your actual channel count, subscriber count. The worst view to subscriber ratio in the entirety of the internet. He sits there, wasted, thinking about the few people who have dedicated their lives to disliking every video he ever uploads. It's a dilemma. He could make more videos, more quality per video, but it will hurt his channel and his algorithm. And it will hurt him because he will feel like he's not doing enough. Or he could make more content, but he will still feel like he's not doing enough. For each video is not enough quality and each video still won't get any views. Even though uploading more should help you in the algorithm. Head in the hands, graphics card still on the table, uninstalled, a slight inconvenience snowballs into an existential crisis. He uploads the rent on YouTube, unlists it, and shares it to his Discord, hoping that one kind soul will see it. One or two do actually see it. And they do send him words of consolation. But the truth is, they have little to no impact. As well-meaning as they do, it's difficult to fight your own mind with other people's words. Defeated, Zagax Tech stands up, leaves, refuses to elaborate further, and sleeps. After eating like a bunch of food, like because he, he felt like crap. Yes, I'm fat, I know. Now, we're on to the next day. Slightly more positive, Zagax Tech picks up the screwdriver once again to go to battle, go to town to assemble the RTX 3080 gaming PC. A build that just a mere 24 hours ago, he was so excited to start but a slightest setback and inconvenience had sent him stumbling back into the rabbit hole. Will he complete it? Well, let's find out. To be honest, this PC build is giving me an absolute and complete and utter uh, and gigantic mental breakdown. Well, it did yesterday, but I'm back today, so um, yeah. We've installed the CPU and the RAM and the motherboard into the case. I probably lost the footage for that, but that's fine. Uh, and turns out, my initial plan of putting the AIO in the front isn't going to work because I, I, as far as I can tell, the RTX 3080 that we're using is just too long for this thick, dummy thick radiator. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this fan and this fan into the front and use it as an intake and then use the AIO as an intake as well. I don't want to use the AIO as an exhaust, as I said, this is for benchmarking the CPU, so it kind of makes no sense to give the CPU cooler unfresh air, although the side panel will be off for benchmarking because I want to get the most fair thermal testing, and that, 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 that's pretty much going to be how it will be done. Oh wait, I think I have, uh, yeah, I have two fans. So I'll put one in the front, one in the, one, two in the front, and the AIO is going to go into the front, so the first, I'm not going to use multiple camera angles for this. I. I don't really have the time, I don't think. Now with an RTX 3080, a lot of people probably shouldn't be buying it because the truth is the RTX 3080 is not really the best value GPU on the market. Uh, even in this high-end level where you might be looking for 1440p or even 4K gaming. I'm gonna be honest, I think the best GPU is probably something like the 6700 XT uh, because you can get that in stock quite easily. You can get the uh, RTX 3070 Ti that one's not easy to get in stock, but it is substantially cheaper than the 3080. I think the performance are quite close as well. So there are a lot of good GPU options. I mean, not, not necessarily good because everything is out of stock. Honestly, just take what you can get your hands on. But I think if you were choosing a particular GPU, the few options I'll go for would be like, will be, will, will be what I've just what I just said, so. Okay, I really do like these Be Quiet fans, by the way. Be Quiet Pure Wings 2. Real nice fans. I'm only gonna screw in two screws per fan. Cause why? Cause I can. You know, all this building of mechanical keyboards and like building of PCs, you'll be, you'll think that doing this so much over the last few months would have made me better and made me like have better like psychomotor skills. I'm still as clumsy as I was before. And uh, this is this is why I think Linus still drops stuff after like years and years of uh, building PCs. We're not testing acoustics, so even if it rattles a little bit, it's not a, it's not a big deal. I won't be rattled by it. <laughs> you can't see what's going on, but I'm just screwing in a fan. You see, I'm not a, I need a, I need an editor. Okay, if anybody wants to edit for me, I will hire you. I can't pay well, but maybe in the future I could. Um, I really like this uh, all-in-one water cooler, by the way, this Arctic Freezer. It is on loan from Aftershock, so thank you to them, but... It is thick and chunky. I expect it to perform quite well. Quick sit rep, after 15 minutes, we got two fans installed. Quick sit rep, oh my lord, just focus! Quick sit rep, after 15 minutes, we got two fans installed in the front of this case. 
nice and lovely and what we're doing right now is we're flipping these fans around so they pull air this way uh, so that they can intake fresh air and cool the CPU that way because obviously we want to cool the CPU with fresh air since we're benchmarking the CPU with this build. Maybe I should like present tech videos with like a Playboy Cardi voice. Maybe that will like make me more viral. What? Slap. Really like the Playboy Cardi. What? What? The vamp one. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. When you try to look professional, you look corporate. When you look corporate, you look like a big group. You look like someone successful. But that when you are not successful, when you're just one man doing a one man band, one man show. Uh, and you still have this target on your back, it does hurt a little bit. Take it because you're taking everything rather personally because it is very personal. Okay. Let's uh, put this up here. Oh my, oh, are you kidding me? I can't even put this in the top because there is clearance issues. I am mad. I, I am very, very mad. Okay, moment of truth. Will it fit? Oh my lord, this is... This is really tight. It will though. It seems like it will. Oh yeah, it will, it will. Ho ho ho, it is real tight. So shout out Be Quiet for making it so wide and having mounting all the way out here because it would have interfered with the RAM. And then screw this in, all right? Just like many people in my life have screwed me over before. Arctic Cooling can't release an MX-5 because they'll get sued by Mazda. Uh, I wish the golden snail would just come and get me. I'll take the million dollars, have a bit of fun, maybe crash a Ferrari, and then just let the golden snail, or just take, oh, just you know, crash a Ferrari before the golden snail can come again. That's actually a genius idea. You know that acoustic cover of uh, the, the, one of the best Kanye songs ever made, which is Ghost Town? Um, pisses me off a lot because it takes out all the soul, all the beauty of Ghost Town by Kanye West with the vocals by Zero Cent Shake, which is just her screaming and her, her heart out in pain. And, and then it takes it, throws it in a dumpster to give a soulless, lifeless, heartless, pitch perfect, correct, but absolutely just disrespectful cover you know the acoustic cover like not everything needs a acoustic cover especially remember guys just persevere because one day you will you will die and it won't matter one day you, you thought i would say one day you will succeed no a lot of people persevere and never succeed seems like that is going to be the situation here but that's okay because at least you can say you tried if there is an afterlife. You can flex some people who just blaze their life away and you got to the same afterlife as you. That'd be quite funny. Okay, slide it in, line it up, click, boom. Imagine if it doesn't if it doesn't post, I I, I would be very sad. But I, I will have a good laugh and I would I will destroy everything. All right, guys, um, I'm proud to say, despite nearly losing my mind over this build, it boots. I'm very happy it boots. Now, I don't have the mental capacity or mental state to really uh, find out whether it posts or not. So I'm gonna plug this monitor off camera on my own time. Uh, but I'm very happy that at least it boots because, um, well, a booting computer is better than a not booting computer. Anyway, if you're wondering what this PC build really is for, because I've been saying benchmarking a million times in this video already, uh, the main reason is, well, the upload is coming on Thursday where we kind of do like a very interesting AMD versus Intel benchmark. The most important upload this channel will see and if it flops, I will probably delete this channel, is on Thursday, 9 p.m. So set a calendar notification, Thursday, 9 p.m. The most important ZX Tech upload, ZX Tech will ever upload, so please stay tuned for that. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that was somewhat interesting or entertaining in some shape or form. I am wearing shorts. These are not boxes. These are like workout shorts. Because I, I'm going to go work out now and, and release some stress. But I hope that was somewhat interesting to watch. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys next time then, whenever that happens.